I'm Coach Faith. I'm the head coach at Cal Poly Women's Basketball. And we are so excited because today is the day that we open the locker room for the 2021 season. We're in 21 now, but this has been a dream of ours for years. And thanks to donors like you, we are so excited to be able to offer this to our student athletes. Come with me. Oh, wow. As you look around, look at all of the Cal Poly women who've gone before. So I look at uh, some of the signature moments in Cal Poly history. It all goes back to the people, the people of Cal Poly. That's the difference and why I love Cal Poly so much. There are so many amazing sponsors up here and we're so grateful to every single one. They've just been incredible in being part of this team project. Uh, some that I wanted to just mention that are personal um, for me, my very first coaches in life, my mom and my dad and my brother taught me how to play basketball. So I, I wanted to have a special shout out to them, mom and dad in heaven. And then I had some other coaches that were really impactful in my life. And I wanted to make mention of them as well. Uh, Frank Schultz, Kay Yao, who's passed away, Doug Bruno, who's now at DePaul, really impactful in my life. And then my high school coach, Marsha Grenier, Marty Hawkins, my college coach, and my eighth grade coach, Ron Lansdowne, just really, appreciative of everything that they've contributed to my life so that I could be in a position to try to help influence other lives. I really appreciate all that you've given to me and my life would never be the same without you. Thank you. Ah, look at this. Molly Schlemer and her family had done an amazing job and they're sponsoring Sierra Camposano, another future Hall of Famer. As you look into the lockers, you can see that they've got a combination opportunity here to store valuables. They've got a wall outlet to be able to plug their phones in. And that space, no more stools. They get to sit on here. And then underneath is where they can store their stinky shoes. <laughs> I remember the days when the whole team was crowded into my little tiny office upstairs to watch film. And now, look at this. Big screen TV with a Bose stereo system. We can watch film right down here in this locker room. They can watch themselves and prepare for their opponents. Got this big whiteboard. There's no way I'm going to be able to reach way up there. Uh, but this whiteboard turns into a vanity with a mirror behind it. This is for you, Katie Patterson, <laughs> our top lady with all the makeup. But even here, they've got plugs underneath. The girls can dry their hair, curl their hair right here. We're so excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we lost Tina this year, but Tina and Phil have just been amazing um, contributors to our program, but also true fans. They're the kind of people that I want to grow up to be like. And so to have Tina recognized and Phil recognized in our academic center here, uh, it's just an, a, quite an honor. Their abilities to fundraise for these magnificent buildings on campus, this is a smaller contribution, but just as vital and they really care so much about our women and their academics. I wanted to put 2535 on the wall here to honor Phil because he kind of came up with 25, 35 hours of studying a week, but it's something that we talk about all the time as a team 
And our team last quarter, team GPA was a 3.4 quarter. We had 11 of our 20 ladies have a 3.5 or higher. So student athlete is really the difference at Cal Poly. We got some smart people here and they were kind enough to put my name up there as well. I said, please don't ever ask me any academic questions. <laughs> Just ask me basketball questions. Hey, check out all this space that we have. We've got places for storage. We can store paper, notebooks. Uh, some of our nutrition station is in here. And as we're moving around, we've actually got storage in every single corner. This is such a great idea. And Jan and Ron Hayes, they just thought about everything. Look at this storage area they've got. Look at that. Oh, I just love this fridge. This is amazing. We can store all of our uh, hydration and then nice healthy snacks that can go in here. Also, the players can put their lunches in. This is one of the hallmarks of our program. For those of you who don't know, we don't offer a MVP of the year. What we do is we have the highest honor at Cal Poly be the Unbroken Spirit Award. And that really is signifying that every single person has the ability to contribute. Sometimes those that are uh, highlighted are those that have had to overcome some real difficult um, aspect in their lives. It was actually named because of this particular lady. We had uh, our former photographer that said, you know, I just love how that player plays. She goes all out all the time. And so the Unbroken Spirit Award was really uh, brought into existence because of the type of person that Taryn Sperry is. She led this, uh, you can see back to back, of having that unbroken spirit. And we have so many people here. Look at this. Carrie Dupron, who's our associate head coach. She was the third recipient. That warms my heart. Look at all these great players and great people that have been highlighted on this board. For those of you that are older and alumni, you would remember that we just had these little tiny vents before. Well, now they've put in some nice air vents all the way around, and they have an exit for the circulation. So that's going into the volleyball room, but we actually now with uh, COVID regulations that we're really concerned about. This is really vital for us to be able to get that circulation and you won't be dying of heat in here anymore because not only did they have the ventilation, but if you'll look up at the lights, you'll see the brand new lights. They're no longer the fluorescent that brought all the heat in. Brand new lights. As we said, there's just some really special people that we owe a great debt to, to make this happen. So many of you, obviously. It took a team to get this accomplished. Our major donors, Jan and Ron Haynes, they are real troopers on this. They're at the forefront of producing medical equipment. And even in spite of the pandemic, they found ways to keep their employees employed to be able to still help people worldwide, not just in the US. And so to be able to have them have the kind of love that they have for our girls and share their vision and their passion for women and women's leaders, I couldn't be more proud to be associated with them. Oh, this has just been amazing, hasn't it? Thank you so much for making this dream a reality. We've been just kind of carting all of our stuff from the gym every single day and for the girls now to have a space that's their living room, that's their locker room, that's their film room. It's a place of unity. And in this time in life, 
when there's so much division out in the world, we needed a place to be able to come together. Thank you for coming together to make this possible. You're amazing.